one bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit meal with a Coke, please. And then I'll also have a uh, just a bacon, egg, and cheese uh, biscuit sandwich. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's poppin'? We're driving to Cincinnati on this cold January morning. It is the January Fishing Expo. This event is on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I went to school yesterday because I've missed too many days of school from deer season and my arm being broke and surgeries and stuff like that. So we're going for Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be fun. We're going to meet a bunch of new people, and we're going to see a bunch of old friends and most importantly we're gonna buy a lot of fish and stuff but first we gotta drive to cincinnati so we got the chick-fil-a breakfast let's hit the road guys we made it to Cincinnati we were at the Expo Center people are about to start walking in about 10 or about 10 minutes or so we're in the Blue Rock route Blue Rock booth here we got tubes craws jigs spinner baits chatter baits terminal tackle new baits here that they haven't sold yet before a bunch of cool sweatshirts this sweet little light hoodie they got it all, so I think they're going to do pretty good this show. They got a lot of cool stuff. Today's going to be the busy day. We'll see how busy they are, how much they sell. But we're also going to walk around. I know a couple other people that are here, and then we'll, we'll say what's up to them, too. We're about halfway through the Saturday. It's the second day, but my first day. Uh, this is a little good turnout. It's pretty busy. Uh, constant flow of people. The Blue Rock booth is in a good spot right by the hog trough. You guys just saw that. But, uh, you know, they're they're making some money. Everybody's doing all right. Good to see this many people showing up. And we're going to meet with some companies. We're going to talk about their new products that they didn't have last year in a little bit. And let them kind of showcase their stuff here soon. I'll probably be tomorrow on the Sunday when it's a little bit less busy and people aren't making as much money. They got a little bit more downtime, but for now we're going to keep hanging out. So, so there you go. Anyway, that's a new cover. Reason back there can make the new firecracker. So um, anyway, so he throws this worm on the bed and that bass immediately just all oh, squirreled over to it. You never do it. I caught him. Boat flipping. All right, here we go. Get your cameras ready. <laughs> All right, little fella, I gotta let you go. Are you tired? <laughs> Thank you for eating. And I'm gonna get you off real quick. How about that, huh? Yeah. That's cool to be up here in below zero weather and get you making it, huh? There you go, big guy. Anyway. All right, it is a cold morning, but we are heading to Sunday, day three, last day of Cincinnati Fishing Expo. Hopefully it's a good day. Bengals play tonight, they're gonna whoop up on the Ravens. And uh, we're gonna talk with some people today, show you guys some new stuff that they came out with for this year. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun. If you're bored, come see us. All right, guys, we're in the LBA Baits booth. They got a ton of new colors out this year and one new bait. I'm excited to show you guys. This here is our new little finesse. We're going to throw this on a drop shot. It's really, really freaking tiny. You could even throw this on an eco rig, really small. It floats, so it looks like a good drop shot bait. And for comparison, here, let me flip around the camera. That is the new bait compared to, like, the length of, like, your average Senko. 
So it is really, really finesse. You get on a drop shot, and they have their same old reliable shadow lag. I, you guys know I use that on my chatter baits. Hammer crawl, good crawl. Those appendages float, so it's a good trailer. Got some of these. Pick these up, throw these on. Back of a spinner bait, but they got a ton of new colors. This red and their ditch pickle. Really good flipping bait. New speckled white. They always got the plain white. Black blue laminate for their hammer crawl. They got all the colors you need. Bread stick is their finesse worm and some new purple the gold they call that the gold mine stump monkey in white that's that floating trailer and these are then these are the new finesse worms skinny booner south african special good for that muddy water they got a bunch of finesse colors as well black and blue down there b shad is like a drop shot bait right there Yamamoto has a similar one. Nice little bait there. And then they also have it in hot pink. Good for your sight fishing, especially smallmouth. And a bunch of new colors in the shadow act, like this green cheeseburger, this orange and brown. A bunch of good stuff, bunch of new colors. They'll be in Columbus as well. Make sure you guys come check them out. That bait right there on the back of a chatter bait. That's money. All right, guys, we're in a Psycho Fish Lures booth. They obviously had a good weekend. A lot of these say sold out. But some new colors for this year. Last year, they had the Buckeye Shad. This year, they added the Gizzard Shad, which sold out on the first day. And the light changed from purple to blue. Awesome little body here. Blue herring, a little bit darker color. This is a new bait here, almost like a wake bait, jerk bait type style, and that's in the Gizzard Shad. Pumpkin seed. This is a new body, almost similar to the Jackal Ganterell here. That sold out. That looks like a good bait. You guys know I caught my personal best on that bait right there. This is also a new body. This one has more than one moving part to it. So that'll be a good one to try out. This is a new paint job here, natural gill. They got the rats. You guys saw me catch a big one last month on that color right there. This is a good crawl color here. If your crawfish have a little blue tint to them, because it looks like a crawfish, and when it goes through the water, it's gonna flash blue on each side. That gizzard chat, new, new pattern, new style. Palm can see good old bronze back. You guys have seen that before. Lots of cool new stuff. Psycho fish lures. Hey, this is Scott from Psycho Fish. Just want to give you an update on the Cincinnati show. Um, it was the traffic flow was not bad. Could have been a little bit better, but today we kind of rebounded from uh, Friday, Saturday. Saturday's traffic was as good as you know, as it always is. But Friday was a little slow, but today was today was a little better, and I was able to make up a little bit of ground. Of course, as usual, swim baits dominate. Everybody wants these swim baits. I sold I sold out of every swim bait I got, pretty much except for a couple. So the swim bait craze is still on, and uh, like I said, we had a pretty good show, and let's hope we have a real good show in Columbus. We'll see y'all in Columbus, Ohio, next month. Awesome. Thanks. Well, that is the end of the Cincinnati Fishing Expo. Uh, I forgot to show you guys the Blue, Blue Rock booth, but you guys are gonna see him plenty more. You guys see him in Columbus too. Uh, they got some cool new stuff. They came out with a new uh, Ned Rig slash drop shot bait last week. That's pretty sweet. You guys know I use a lot of their stuff, so I'll show you guys some of that in Columbus. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, a lot of more expos coming big things coming with a kayak i bought the other day it's going to be good it's going to be fun stick with us for 2023 and stay tuned but I'll catch you guys on the next one see ya